Hi, everybody. Well, it's been a tough week or two. We have lost five, five unique individuals who had an influence on my life and probably yours too. Irreplaceable people. I want to talk about three of them for starters. June Foray, Marty Sklar, and Lois Laurel. Now, June is the best known because she was the most public. She was the leading cartoon voice actress of her generation. And when I say her generation, <laughs> she worked into her 90s. She got an Emmy Award at age 94. I mean, I grew up with her as Rocky on Rocky and Bullwinkle, but also she was Granny on the Tweety and Sylvester cartoons. She was in the Gummy Bear, she was in the Smurfs. She worked forever because she loved to work. She really loved it. If she met a fan, she'd do a voice at the drop of a hat. And she wore a beautiful gold Rocky pendant around her neck. So you knew where her heart was. She was also the head of the short subject branch of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and fought hard, long and hard, to keep them from taking those awards off the telecast. The producers always wanted to shorten the Oscar show. It's always too long. And she said, you're not going to do it at the expense of the shorts. No way. And she fought and won. So filmmakers around the world will always owe her a debt of gratitude. Plus, she was really a fun person to know. Just lively, funny, delightful. A delightful human being. Made it to 99. God bless her. Marty Sklar was the cultural ambassador for Walt Disney. That's why eventually he was called, because they ran out of titles to give him. He was the head of Imagineering for many, many years and supervised the, uh, the building, the execution, and the idea work, the brain work behind so many attractions at Disneyland and all the other Disney theme parks. But what made him unique was that he started out as a young man just out of UCLA working directly for Walt Disney. And that's what made him special. He's one of the last living links to Walt. He wrote Walt's speeches. He wrote uh, PR material for all sorts of things at the parks and at the company, but he was Walt's confidant. He was able to write in Walt's voice. Walt trusted him that much. And we're gonna miss him because there aren't many people who can say they worked alongside Walt Disney and understood Walt's philosophy and could express it as well as he could. Marty Sklar. Lois Laurel was the daughter of the great Stan Laurel, of Laurel and Hardy. And Lois, in later years, gave her blessing to the Sons of the Desert, the International Laurel and Hardy Organization, and was somebody who, again, was a link. A link to a, an era of Hollywood and a link to one of the greatest of all comedy teams, maybe the greatest comedy team of all time. And you see pictures of her visiting her dad on movie sets in the 30s, and the smile is just beatific. Uh, she was somebody who carried the torch for her dad and wasn't embarrassed to do it. I didn't know her well, but she was so kind to me and my family. When my daughter was born on Stan Laurel's birthday in June of 1986, she sent us a dated check from June of 1930 that her father had signed to her nanny. Priceless, a priceless keepsake and a reminder of what a kind and generous woman Lois Laurel was. God bless her.